So I've called the fire brigade just in case there are any issues. <laughs> These are ready, burnt but ready. Here we go. I haven't put the chili in. How did you do that? I thought this was going to be easy. This is really, really, really hard because it looks like a sponge. This looks disgusting. Oh no! No, 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 no. Luke! Shut up. Hello everybody, how you doing? I hope you're doing really well. Welcome back to my channel and to a fun video. I feel like <laughs> <laughs> Joyous! What a moment! As you can tell by the title, we're having a bit of a laugh. Basically, no, if you... Luke, it's no, not funny. It is funny. I know, exactly. So if you've watched this channel for a while, you will know that I love food. I love cooking. I am a foodie at heart. Food is my life. I've lived with Zara for nearly two years now, and I would say, and please don't take this offensively. No, this is going to be offensive. It's not. Your cooking skills, knowledge of food, what you like, what you don't like, what you oh, know, what you like, what you don't like, is, is so, yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying. It's no, gotten I thought so, you were going to say. In all the time you've lived with me, I honestly think you've cooked for me. I'm going to say number one, I don't no, want to hear the number one. No, no, Zara like, loves to learn how to cook and she always asks questions about um, like why we do things a certain way or what the, that ingredient is or she compliments my food all the time. You say it's lovely. Okay. Um, so, we came up with the idea, Zara suggested this and I was like, yes, no, absolutely. it wasn't a YouTube idea, I just wanted to do this. Do, yeah, it was just going to be a natural thing and I thought I'm going to pick up the camera because this is going to be brilliant. I'm going to pass the bat on this, you guys, the camera is going in Zara's oh. hands. Zara's going to cook three meals this week from scratch for me, I'm not allowed to help. I'm, I'm, I'm going to pop in every now and then just to see how she's doing, I'm not going to answer any questions. This is going to be you, your own cooking, this is you. Yes. Hello. This is me, yes. I'm exactly where I need to be. Okay, so talk us through what you're going to cook us this week. So, this is dinner number one. Zara, talk us through what we're going to be doing. Yes. Some of, oh sorry, some well. of this is pre prepped This was from a dinner last week, so I'm kind of giving her a helping hand, but there's still fundamentals that are requiring to go. And I didn't want help. No. It was situational. Okay, great. Um, spaghetti with beetroot and spinach. Spinach, we needed spinach. Yeah, we can get that out. Plus extras. Okay, so this is gonna be a, yeah, it's a take on a spaghetti linguine with chili, um, butternut squash, roasted beetroot, red pepper, um, oh, red pepper, sorry, red onion, that kind of thing. Um, right, the camera's yours. Right now. This is yours. Oh, I don't know how I feel about this. Why? I feel a bit on edge. Pressure, there is serious pressure. Be nice, everyone, please, because I know. I'll be replying. <laughs> Tara, <laughs> just read the comments. Any tips? Do you um, do I don't want those. Okay. I don't want the tips. Oh right. my goodness. I'm gonna give the camera okay. to Zara and we're gonna wait and see what ends up being our dinner. I'm going to start by reading the method. Which already is looking problematic because I forgot ingredients. Time. <laughs> So I've called the fire brigade just in case there are any issues. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I think they're just doing a drill. Nothing serious is happening, don't worry. But um, they're on guard. And this is something I can do. Just pour hot water. Oh, God. <laughs> All over the hole. can cook, I'm just particularly messy. J oh. Toss the beetroot, mine's, mine's ready. Saute the onion and garlic, but I don't have to saute onions because they're done, but surely if I saute garlic, it's gonna burn, and Luke told me to stop burning garlic. Oh, no, nah, I'm sorry, this is a joke. I thought this was gonna be easy. This is really, really, really hard. I can't do this, and the remaining oil. What do you mean remaining oil? <laughs> I haven't used any oil and we're only on step two. Mm. So I did, I'm running rogue from the, the recipe because it's me. Is that a lot? So the oil's bubbling and I don't think that's meant to happen. Cause then it will spit and if it spits, I'll get burnt. <laughs> Be like this. 
And I've also got spinach on the floor. <laughs> so I've realised what I've done. You can't, I need to add stock and you can't add stock to beetroot because I think it will just like blow up. Like blow up. Like not blow up, that's the wrong word. Like expand because it will absorb it. Because it looks like a sponge. I don't even know what that means. Like concerned because I was meant to put the spinach in separately. And I was meant to have those onions that I don't have and garlic and then I was meant to stir everything in at the end. I've just done this very wrong. Given how smoky it is in here, I'm beginning to think that the fire engines outside were bought as a precaution because I'm on fire. I've also really, really ruined things. This is all st oh god, wrong place. This is all stuck look. Oh. I've now had to introduce a third pan. That's definitely gonna now be overcooked. I can't do it. I just want to be me. And by me, I mean sat observing drinking wine. I'm not up for this kind of... Oh. Kitchen is a pigsty and I'm now covered in creme fraiche. Um, this doesn't look advertising at all. Like, listen. I think I pulled it out of the bag. This now looks like a sauce, would we agree? curdled sauce but a sauce this is still stuck and i'm not really sure how we're going to come back from that it looks like mush as well but oh god the chili i haven't put the chili in <gasps> chili's on the floor <laughs> oh someone help me do you have to cook chili or can it just simmer this is now in it does look watery but i'm imagining we can can you wilt? Oh no, wilt. I don't know if that's the right word. Will that all disappear? So now I'm just going to pour in my questionable sauce. Which I'll be honest, smells lovely. God, this looks disgusting. Against all odds, I think I've pulled it out of the bag. I'm expecting to be wifed up by somebody after this because best believe I am proving my cooking skills to the world. It looks a questionable colour. It looks like is salmon pink a colour? I don't think that was meant to happen. Surprisingly, smells unreal. Probably tastes like, I don't know, pig poo, but... And I say pig because it's pink, but my god. Dinner's not ready and I've been pushed to this. Oh, I've spilt wine on the wall. How did you do that? Because I walked into the door. <laughs> Why is there spinach on the floor? Oh, I know, it's everywhere. <laughs> oh, I picked that bit up. It's good, just drink oh. the wine. Not mine, though. And if there's anything in life I can get right first time every time, it's a GB. So that's correct. I think it looks great. Luke said it smells like burning. <laughs> to me and everything oh <gasps> it's red you're colorblind that's pink oh my goodness Zora this looks amazing you're lying I'm not lying it's literally you're I doing really, the over extravagant smile I genuinely don't think I've ever had a pasta that color in my life no neither have I that's probably what's wrong with it oh my the god the fire okay. engines have gone right okay Guys, I'm actually, I'm speechless, Zara. This looks incredible. You might be speechless when you're being sick. I, I'm genuinely, I don't think I've ever had food that is this colour ever. Mm. How has it gone this colour? Is it the beetroot? Well, obviously it is, isn't it? No, I'm giving up my job. I'm a chef. Are you joking me? Do you actually like it? Oh my God, Zara. Do you promise? My vibe. That was amazing. Oh my God. Guys, I'm, I'm literally not just doing this to the camera. I am speechless. Sure. Zara, it's flavoursome. It's seasoned. Oh. It's really... I did squirt lemon juice. I've yeah, this I can smell it. I can smell it. The lemon's delicious. Oh, no, no, delicious. there's a whole lemon in it. Mm -hmm. And then I squirted lemon juice on did top Did you do zest? No? Uh -huh. Oh. 
She zested a lemon, guys. She zested a lemon. Oh, can I just do a disclaimer? I washed the spinach. Good. Oh, God, that's quite spicy. <laughs> and I... What was the other thing I wanted? I seasoned. I just didn't show that. I've taken garlic. I'm actually speechless. This is blowing my mind. This is going to be like a dinner favourite for us here on in. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Okay, so it's day two of Zara taking over my um, cooking channel. <laughs> I'm going to do that. Zara's taking over in the kitchen. What are we cooking today? Today, we've had a hiccup. Okay. So, so we, we were going to cook the mushroom shawamas, right? But basically, Zara informed me that she didn't buy the correct type of mushrooms. We didn't have, uh, what was this? Oil. Oil for the mushrooms. And oh, kitchen roll. And supposed to marinate for two hours. So I completely scrapped that idea. So instead, we're having the easy peasy, um, oh, <laughs> easy pea and spinach samosas. I'll quickly show you. It's hopefully what they're going to look like in the end with puff pastry instead of phyllo. So it's probably not going to look like this at right, all, but so I have fear. We've already decided. It's going to look something like this. It's, it's a fine. pasty. Yeah. Okay, let's get the ingredients out and then I'm going to leave Zara to it. So, I think I've learned from yesterday's mistakes. And today I'm going to take each step at a time. I don't know. I feel like I don't understand these things. But step one, I feel like I've got peel the carrot. If I couldn't do that, then I think we'd be, yeah, that'd be a problem. <laughs> Nothing. Also spill oil all over the oil cap and a tablespoon that usually means two, they never mean one. I've hit the wall. It says this is stage two. Peel finely chop. Peel peel and finely chop. And add the garlic and ginger, a five centimetre piece of ginger. So first of all, Luke said that was like a thumb, but no, not a dinosaur. I mean, that's not true. But now I'm thinking five centimetres, a 15 centimetre ruler is like that long. So a third is like here. I can't put that in, surely, because this smells like it's burning. I don't believe I put that in. An issue. I forgot the word low. So I think you had to put it on a medium heat for like a minute and then cook on low for 20 minutes. It's been on for about five minutes on high and it's burned. I don't want to jinx this, jinx this, but I have pulled this out of the bag. If there was smell a vision, I don't know, me sniffing more is not going to make me smell it, but slightly burnt, but then I'm like, is that burnt? Or just well cooked? I might try it, it's only onion. Ooh. Ooh. It tastes very gingery. Now I'm thinking maybe Luke's five centimetre piece of ginger was actually a thumb and not my third of a ruler measure in the meantime i've been very productive i've done a look i have opened this because i have some troubles with these i've weighed out 100 mil no nah, 100 grams of this and 100 grams peas and baby spinach although i've just realized having said that i've just used big spinach and it was meant to be baby okay but well, that doesn't matter does it it's just so Luke likes Christmas, so I think I'm going to do one star, what do you call this, star flake, snowflake, I'm do one snowflake one and press in the edges, yeah, I'm going to do this, I really like shaped food, here we go, so my final now six minutes, I'm going to work out how you fold a samosa, so I thought instead of using, wasting my incorrect pastry which should be feeler and it's puff so we've already caught an issue i'm gonna fold up my to-do list it has nothing on it because i have nothing to do and work out how i can do this so i'm gonna just think you do one corner like so oh jesus christ don't come to me for arts and crafts and then you go back on yourself mm, this doesn't look right but we have to Lay a clean, damp tea towel on a work surface. 
I don't know how I'd make the tea towel damp. Really. Because if I put it under the tap, it's just going to get a bit wet, isn't it? So, I figured we've got one of these, look. Oh, lovely spritz. And I put some filtered water in it. So I'm thinking, this makes sense. So I'm just going to spray this. Here we go. I put filter, we use this on the plants. So now adding curry paste. Is that a tablespoon? Hmm. Let's do two. So we're now I think pan meant pot because this is quite an overfilled pan that serves 16 samosas. My mixture is cooling by the back door. I'm watching the smoke wisp away. And I am about to lay my, what should be filo but is puff, pastry on my damp tea towel, which I'm about to make damp. And then I have to cut it into four strips and I need to brush the edges of each strip with water and then spoon one heaped tablespoon of filling into the bottom corner. But I'm not doing that, I'm doing my, I'm gonna call them pocket samosas. Let's start with some spritzing. I'm also not gonna inform Luke of the sprit. Oh, that's my hair. Okay, we're on to the last one. There's an awful lot of mixture left, but I'm thinking you can maybe freeze it. Or maybe with some rice. I don't know. I'm not a chef here quite clearly. I've opted for a parcel. This is what I'm calling them. I'm calling them samosa parcels. They can't. I would not even offend the world of pasties by saying that like a pasty because, yeah, they're just parcels. I'm just, yeah. Jamie says in the book you'll get better as you go. I'd categorically say I got worse. But a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of this jobs good so we're meant to have 16 we have eight so something oh god i mean they just fall yeah. we're going in the oven this is what we've produced so this was my first one and then it's look they're peaking see right let's see what happens i'm not even joking i've just realized i was meant to mash and i haven't mashed them and now they're cooking oh no 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 now they're gonna be hard no 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 <laughs> luke luke they're out i've never felt so deflated by a meal in my life and i don't know if it's because i'm disappointed or because i'm just tired luke's reminded me i've been cooking for an hour and a half which is now an hour and 45 i'm tired and they look revolting oh look i kept the basil that i forgot to put in there in case he wants to like stuff it in but jesus christ that's gone i need another five oh, looks nothing like that <laughs> right i am i am honestly i'm not gonna lie Zara just came with the goods she put the salad down first this is our makeshift dining table by the way because our actual dining table is the office now so i came and just like, i'm gonna cry yeah it's been stressful guys i don't I know I just said I feel I've never felt so deflated by a meal and I don't know I mean I did just say this I don't know if it's because they look a me oh my god no stop it <laughs> do you know what right Julia Child once said that everyone can cook and only some people are great cooks but I don't agree with that because these look they look incredible yeah, I'm so impressed <laughs> well I'm gonna give you 12 out of 10 for yeah, effort. Taste it, yeah. it's about it guys if you could smell how good these look I smell how good these smell oh. Right, I'm gonna go with the DSS and I'm gonna let you know how they are. I'm so impressed, well done. Honestly, I was sat at my desk just doing some work and I was like, it smells good in there. And again, obviously samosas, you don't have to mash the interior, it can be chunky. Shut up. Zara. They're tasty, but not. Guys, honestly, I'm gonna do my crap up. I am obsessed. 
they're, they're puffed up, they're delicious, they've got a bit of a kick. Okay, they're spicy, there's some spice in there. I'm gonna put my cap back on because I've got serious hat hair. That's, that's, mate, well done. Really? I prefer this to the pasta. Guys, I'm not just saying this. Empty. Completely empty. That was, this channel is gonna be taken over now. Why would anyone want to listen and watch me cook when you can just absolutely- Thank you, use... fishing for a compliment. I genuinely would go as far as saying they're one of the best samosas I've ever had. Luke, no. No, I would, and it'd only be elevated by the ingredients that you forgot to put in. <laughs> Guys, this is gonna be like a regular. Let me know if you do make this recipe and I will link it in the description box down below if you wanna try it yourself. <laughs> You're right. Okay, so this is the third and final dinner that Zara is going to be cooking for us. It's been a hard Monday, but it's fine. You, I believe you can do it. Yeah. You nervous? No. You excited? I just think, I just got to put it on a stick. Mm. Oh, I'll get you the sticks actually, yeah. Thanks. The thing I'm most concerned about now is wedges, which is off recipe. Wedges? Yeah. So, right, I'll give, you literally just cut them. And do you want me to cut the wedges for you? I'll do that for you. And then I'll take control of the wedges. You just focus all of your attention on the mushroom shawarma and I'm going to get you sticks for you. Okay? okay. Vlog camera's going in your hands. So these are the wedges I've just done for Zara. They're literally just salt, pepper. Well, they're for us, but salt, pepper, uh, smoked paprika and olive oil. Just toss them all up and they've got a roast at around 220 degrees for half an hour. And just to add, that, like, I've still cooked because of I've course done you have. my recipes. Yeah. You were being... Greedy, unwanted wedges, which I haven't factored in. <laughs> that is true. true. No, it's not right. Run Vlog camera, on. this is yours. I need the stuff. I'm gonna get you the try. <laughs> so I've done these. We don't need that anymore, do we? No. So this is mushrooms and what's that other thing? Onions. I mean, that doesn't look like a mushroom, though, does it? It does. Yeah. They need to be shoved on a stick. Mm -hmm. Yes. I don't know. It's no, neither do I, really. And then I have to chop these things, and these are a salad. This is onion and garlic dip because it wouldn't be dinner without it. Wedges, loops done. These here, and this is spreading materials. So yeah, we're gonna see. You'll eat all oh, when you get me the blender. Oh yes. Thank you, Luke. No problem. Welcome to a utensil I've never <laughs> used before. <laughs> so this is a Kenwood mini chopper. Um, and this is the only help I'm going to give you. I'll set it up for you and then I'm leaving the kitchen. Right, I don't think it's very good to leave me with the chopper no, and not show me how to use it. My fingers okay. will be in your dinner. So fairly straightforward. It's plugged in, you score. So to take Ooh. it out, just pop all your bits in, lid on, twist it in. Question, it is up. it going to shoot out the top? No, that's, that's, that's empty. Okay, fine. This is for steam. So lid off. It on, in, blend. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I'm feeling quite confident. Famous last word, said that about the other two. And then I made parcels instead of samosas. Anyway, sticks, skewers. So, I just need to shove these things, oh dear, on there and roast for 20 minutes. So I feel like I can master this and if I can't, then there's some serious issues. So I'm just gonna, Skew them on. I mean, this is meant to serve four, and there's only two of us, and there's an awful lot of mushrooms, so <laughs> good luck. I don't want to jinx anything, but you'd be lying if you said these didn't look nice. Like, granted, they're not cooked, it's actually more raw mushroom, but my god, day three, and I need a career change. I'm blown away. I know you can't smell it, but like literally smells incredible. The wedges are just doing their thing, but literally smells unreal. I feel like presentation wise, I mean, we're only at the skewers and they haven't even gone in the oven yet, so anything could change. I feel like this might be my best dinner. So I'm going to be completely honest. I've had to go and get some tips from head chef, Luke, who thinks he's a chef, and he's told me 15 minutes. 5, 10, 15. So at 5 to 7, oh, we're eating early tonight. 5 to 7, I can put these in. So, in the meantime, I'm going to make use of my time. I'm going to make a dip. I make it sound like I've come up with that. <laughs> it's Jamie. 
um, with jalapeno, or is it jalapenos? Hey Siri, is it jalapeno or jalapeno? Is it jalapeno or jalapeno? Check it out. Well, that was helpful. How to pronounce jalapeno? Jalapeno. Yeah. Oh, say again. Jalapeno. 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 Yeah, there we go. Not jalapeno. Steady girl. Now, if this couldn't get more exciting, we're now trying a new apparatus. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Ah, oh, they smell like Subway. Juices and all. I mean, I don't know if this can do liquids. Oh, for goodness sake. Do you know what? If anyone else did that, they'd have just tipped out. Might have to do this in stages. And now for some mint. Just shove it in, I guess. Right. Until fine. Something tells me something with seeds isn't going to end up fine. So I've been very productive and while the wedges are still cooking, they have, oh, right, well that went well. I should be putting more things in now. Let's crank this up, 240, slightly down. Brilliant stuff. Anyway, while I've been doing that, I have been finely slicing some radishes, some tomatoes and some cucumber. Just put a pinch of salt and now I have to put a tablespoon of, oh Jesus. I think I lack hand-eye coordination among everything else in life. Um, now I need to put one tablespoon of white wine vinegar. Also realised, I don't think this is very detrimental because I went out of my way to try and find this when I did the food shop last week. I need a tablespoon for some salad. I feel incredibly let down. Falling. So you have one, two, we have six. Can you see these? Oh, 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 burn. Oh, um, so not up my mouth. So I'm feeling very confident. The shawarmas are in for their last three minutes. I've just done this and oh, it's gone all over the side. These are ready, burnt but ready. And they've done like a little layout thing. That's not getting consumed. See, everything's ready. I did it. They look a little bit burnt, but I think that's how they're meant to look like charred. I tell you what, I'm an absolute national cooking sensation. Okay, it's Luke behind the camera here. I'm, oh my goodness, stop Look. it. Stop it. Oh my God. Thank you. They are I'm meant to be burnt. Meant to be burnt. Oh, Luke, Luke, Luke. The wedges are also have a lovely colour. I did everything to the minute, to the degree. I'm so excited for this. This literally looks, oh, look at that. Yeah. I'm gonna dip in some of the yogurt. Oh, I didn't talk about the yogurt. A hung yogurt. Yeah, it's called hung yogurt, which is this. It basically takes all of the liquid out of it, so you just get a really thick yogurt. Right, we're going into the taste test. Here we go: mushroom shawarmas, like an like like an Israeli Turkish Greek takeout. I'd like words. Guys, that is delicious. I'm not gonna lie. Let me come close to the camera. It's like a proper, like, Turkish kebab. It tastes like a kebab. Oh my god, not bad. Not bad. Thank you, Luke. Right, that was a roaring success. Look at the plates. They speak for themselves. I would honestly say, look, they're all empty. Cyrus is empty, We've got one flatbread left. I would honestly say that's up there. Ignore the wedges, probably one of the best dinners you ever made me. Really, really. Have you enjoyed it? No. <laughs> and no. No, do you know what? Like, what? it's a learning curve. I think that before you learn to cook and bake, you should be taught words like based and whichever other words I was struggling with. Julienne. But yeah, other than that, I think I did a great job. You've done tried. a fantastic job. I'm very impressed. If you have enjoyed the video and you want to see more of Zara in the kitchen, then do give it a thumbs up. And <laughs> don't forget to I click see now. <laughs> Don't forget to click subscribe um, and I'll catch you all very soon. Bye for now. You've earned your well-earned rest. Thank you. Dinner's on me for eternity.